Meanwhile, some repentant illegal oil bunkering operators in the Niger Delta have lent their voices on how the business can be totally eradicated in the Niger Delta region. Speaking to ADBN TV correspondents in Yenwa, the Bielsa state capital, they called on the federal government to create more opportunities for youths of the region to be properly engaged through various rehabilitation and reintegration programs. Here's the report. Crude oil, commonly known as black gold, is mostly found in the Niger Delta region, and it is mainstay of Nigeria's economy. Siphoning this black gold constitutes a crime and threat to national survival. The crime is perpetrated through the breaking of pipelines and extraction of black gold, which is later refined into various products in an illegal site called bow fire camps. In the field, the oil theft really, since that they appoint Tumpul for the past two years, we are the ones that are working in the river. But the river, there's a big piece in the river right now as we are talking. The oil theft, there's still anything bow fire that happened in that place right now. But the bow fire will know what is happening in the Niger Delta before. When the bow fire is going on before, we've seen a lot of dead bodies, people that are dying in the region. But in the region, what we are seeing at that time really we lost our people that at that time. A lot of people because of hungry. We, our people that we all, we are running on into the bunker. That's what we are using, feeding ourselves before. But as Tompolo come on into the system for us, is the one that make the country, the Niger Delta to become. It make us to surrender for all work we are working in the Niger Delta. It told us to stop the oil thefts in the Niger Delta. So we to myself, we all Niger Delta youth, we agree with him, and we all now, right now, as we are talking now, the Niger Delta is peace. There's no any problem in the Niger Delta again. Apart from stealing from the pipelines, oil theft also occurs during transportation of crude oil products, and efforts to stem the tide is becoming more difficult. For these creek men, the best way is to engage the youth through various rehabilitation programs. The damages are our rivers and the, even our farm. Nothing grows from there. Our rural areas we don't have tap water or pump water or well water. We used to make this our river water for everything that we are doing in the region there. I'm still begging federal government to give more chances to our leaders, which is a person like government of Bungulu Tombulu to employ more people. Because the youths in Niger Delta, there is no job. Two to three persons mobilize themselves, carrying arms to different places to get their benefit for the day. And of which is very bad. Once they caught them, they will kill them. So we are begging federal government to still put ends with our leader Tompolo. They also harp on the need for regular reorientation to enable both fire operators understand the negative implications of the oil theft. Achinono Temple, 